Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on this channel. Today we are testing a Intel Tiger Lake system, specifically the Lenovo IdeaBed 314 ITL6 with an Intel Pentium Gold 7505, 4GB of RAM and the Intel UHD graphics. I built the video like this. Right now you are seeing the system specifications of today's video. After that we are going to have a look at Fortnite running at 4GB to make you see how bad actually performance was on 4GB. After that I'm, up I'm upgrading the system to 12GB. Then I'm going to show you 5 games, 4GB versus 12GB. Um, since 4GB of RAM isn't the yellow from the egg in 2022, um, I started to upgrade the system from 4 to 12GB. Originally I wanted to do a test of the 4GB version in 21 games, but it was really pain in the ass to use. 4 gigabytes of RAM 2022. So after five games testing, <laughs> I resigned <laughs> and um, yeah, I upgraded the system to 12 gigabytes, which has been really easy. You know, it's it's not rocket science to upgrade RAM on a laptop. Um, what you're seeing right now is actually Fortnite, um, one game that really made me suffer. Uh, running at 4 gigabytes of RAM and as you can see the um, FPS number right now which is shown at uh, next to the 3 d 11 uh, is around 15 FPS 10 FPS but what is what what is really causing huge uh, problems in this game are heavy lags so to get rid of this problem we need this 8 GB of RAM. As I already said upgrading a laptop is pretty simple. You either have some screws on the back that you have to um, unscrew and then you can lift up the whole back of your laptop or you've got maintenance flaps. These are simple flaps that you can open to access parts of your laptop, for example the RAM or the HDD, SSD, whatever. So um, yeah, I lifted the back entirely and had access to the whole laptop. To get access to the additional RAM slot, the first RAM 4GB are soldered, these aren't accessible or changeable, but the second one is accessible, you simply have to lift of the passive RAM cooler and then you can add the new RAM. 8GB of RAM are possible to add on this system, so you get 12GB in total. As I already said in my previous videos, 4GB are no option to use in 2022. Upgrade is simple. Just do it guys. You're going to see benchmarks now. We are starting with Fortnite 4 GB versus 12 GB. The difference is huge to say the least. This on the left side you see uh, the previous clip that has already been in this video. FPS numbers are the same. Um, averaging right now around 14 FPS. On the right side you see uh, the 12 GB of RAM, the upgraded system. And yeah, you can already see this one is um, averaging at the beginning of a match, which is the most intensive task. Um, it's already matching around 30 FPS average. And uh, yeah, later on in the match when the performance is getting better, on 12 GB RAM, Fortnite is actually okay playable, but on 4 GB it is simply unplayable. And now I didn't pause the game on the left side, it was simply freezing because of insufficient amount of RAM. So yeah, of course this is a, a huge difference because uh, of the integrated graphics. For example, if you'd use a Tiger Lake system, with 4GB of RAM and a dedicated GPU like a 
GDX 1650 for example, the performance difference wouldn't be that huge. But uh, still, if you're using a system with integrated graphics, um, just upgrade. Simply upgrade from 4 to 8 or to 12 GB of RAM. It doesn't matter at all, but just get rid of these uh, 4 GB. And by the way, if you're using a Ryzen system with integrated graphics called Radeon Graphics, it's nearly the same. Um, dual channel is even more important on AMD systems than on Intel and the performance gain will also be huge from single to dual channel RAM but also let's say you've got a Ryzen 3 3250U running at 4 gigabytes of RAM um, I would also advise to get this system as soon as possible from 4 to 8 or to 12 gigabytes or even 16 gigabytes of RAM um, as you can see in the background now, um, we switched the game, we are playing League of Legends now, and even in this even in this game that has got really low system requirements, um, just have a look at the change in the average FPS number, which um, increased by more than 10 FPS from 4 to 12 gigabytes and also the low FPS number, the 1% low FPS number, um, yeah, got a huge increase. So even in such a low end game, in such a low demanding game, um, there is still a performance increase from single to dual channel and from 4 to 8 or to 12 gigabytes of RAM. Um, now we are switching to GDA5 and this is again one example that is I, I would say on four gigabytes it's it's barely playable um it's not that bad like like fortnite actually um in my opinion you can still enjoy the game somehow <laughs> uh, to be honest i know a lot of people that played uh, ga5 on integrated graphics on four gigabytes of ram only and um yeah, they played the whole campaign and even tried to play a GTA Online, which is a, a another thing because it, it's way more important than normal GTA. Um, but um, yeah, as you can see right now, I'm driving around the city on my motorbike and uh, averaging 42 FPS. But now we are switching to 12 gigabytes of RAM and the average FPS number increased to 35 and um, also the FPS 1% low uh, got a huge increase again. So in my opinion the game changed from 4GB barely playable and um, to be able to play maybe the single player campaign to playable, actually okay playable in the single player. I also tested the um, multiplayer GTA Online and this is still playable in my opinion. You get around 30% uh, less in terms of FPS compared to the single player, but <coughs> even GDA Online is still playable. So yes, all in all, GDA is another example of um, the huge benefit that you're going to get when upgrading your RAM. Next game is Counter-Strike Go Global Offensive, uh, playing at 720p low settings. By the way, um, only League of Legends has been at 1080p very high settings because it's uh, yeah less demanding game in the whole list. Um, GTA 5 has been at 720p low settings. And yes, now CSGO is at 720p low settings and even at 4 gigabytes of RAM, I would say it's between barely and okay playable because you want in CSGO you want to get a FPS number in average that is close to 60 and this isn't possible with 4 gigabytes of RAM. You're averaging right now 48 FPS, uh, current FPS number is even exceeding uh, 50 
this would be okay, but have a look at the 1% FPS levels. They're awesome freezes in the game. And uh, this is making this competitive shooter, yeah, between Valley and OK playable on 4 GB of RAM. But now we are running at 12 GB of RAM and the average FPS number already increased to 64 FPS and the 1% FPS lows. Uh, this is a, a value that you should pay attention to in every single clip of today. Um, the 1% FPS value is at 28 FPS, which is still not perfect for CSGO, but I would say it's... We are now in FPS numbers and the 1% FPS lows that are definitely okay playable. I wouldn't say well playable, but now the game is okay playable. Before jumping into the next uh, game, uh, let's briefly sum up all games. Uh, yeah, got a huge benefit from 12 gigabytes from the upgrade. Um, but there was no game that has been entirely unplayable, in my opinion, on 4 gigabytes of RAM. This is changing now because Valorant, to my surprise, I actually thought it would run way better on 4 gigabytes, is, in my opinion, nearly unplayable. Not because of the average FPS numbers or um, the one percent lows that you saw previously. It was mainly because uh, a lot of freezes occurred and um, this is just bad for a multiplayer game. Um, now you're seeing already the upgrade system to 12 GB of RAM and the game actually became okay playable, averaging 84 FPS. Uh, just the one percent <laughs> FPS lows aren't uh, yeah are still not perfect but you got to, you, you, you you got to remember um, this is still a low-end CPU and um, Valorant is some sort of um, CPU demanding it became even uh, more CPU demanding over the years yeah. if you would have made this benchmark two years ago um, FPS numbers would have been way better on the system. Uh, speaking of low-end CPU, <laughs> this is causing um, Apex Legends actually to yeah to to, to, to crash uh, when when loading a game uh, on four gigabytes of, of RAM. You're unable; it's completely impossible to join a match. Um, you're getting thrown back here into the main menu. And um, yeah, I wasn't able to join a match with 4 gigabytes of RAM. On 12 gigabytes of RAM, I was able to join a match. And remember, we are still using a low-end CPU, so the CPU yeah, usage in Apex Legends is really high at the beginning of a match. Um, so there are still stutters. I would still say the game is just barely playable on the system at all. It's it's not a system that I'd recommend for Apex Legends. This game is simply uh, too demanding. So for Apex Legends, at least get an i5 with an Iris Xe or even a dedicated GPU. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting, at least I did. And this wasn't a planned video, it was something that came up because for Gigabyte have been really, really bad to use for me uh, when recording 21 games that's at least what I wanted to do on this system um, so yeah next video is going to be the Pentium Gold with 12 gigabytes of RAM in 21 games I already made a video about this system a couple of months ago or not, not, not specifically this system. This has been another one back then. And um, what I noticed is the performance overall became way better uh, due to a new Intel driver. So this is going to be a retest of the Pentium Gold with uh, the right amount of RAM, which is right now 12 gigabyte or 16 gigabytes, or let's say 8 gigabyte at least. Um, this is surely also going to be uh, very interesting, so feel free to, to subscribe to this channel. <laughs> this uh, would help a lot. I hopefully see you all in the next one. Goodbye.